And Eamon, I've got here with us, too, Senator Barbara Boxer of California. Uh, Senator, we brought you on to talk politics. I'd be remiss, though, if I didn't ask you about this breaking news as we just are listening in to this news conference from the U.S. attorney. By the way, still going on, so we are going to go back to it uh, if and when he starts taking questions on this. And I have to get your reaction to news now uh, of the charges, the premeditated act of terrorism, as you heard him talk about. Some Republicans have suggested that Rahami should potentially be tried as an enemy combatant. Uh, give us your reaction to what's unfolding in these last couple of minutes. What's unfolding is that we know this was an act of terror inspired by al-Qaeda, ISIS, bin Laden, you name them. And it's just a pattern that is emerging in Europe and here. And that's why this presidential election is so important. Because to deal with this, you have to understand that we have a many-front battle on our hands. And it will be a long battle that we will win at the end of the day. But it means defeating ISIS abroad with our allies without having a big American footprint and sticking us in the middle of a civil war. That's number one. And we are making great progress on the ground. We will see that in the coming days over in Iraq. You also need to have really good intelligence, and you need good community relations with the Muslim community and other communities here at home. And all that together will lead us to victory. But let's be clear, this, this is what has been predicted since 9-11. And, Senator, it is something that we often hear. You know I'm on the campaign trail quite a bit with Donald Trump. He, he talks about this all the time, poll, you know, the strength when it comes to terrorism, in his view. And polling shows that he edges out Hillary Clinton when it comes to who people trust when it comes to fighting terrorism. We've also got our new poll with uh, showing that there's a question of judgment now for Hillary Clinton. Let's pull that up on the screen when it comes to actions internationally, judgment and decisions in dealing with Syria, Iraq, and Libya. So how can she overcome this perception problem that she apparently has when you look at these numbers that Donald Trump is, in fact, going to be tougher in the fight against terror? Well, that whole thing is ridiculous when you look at the experience of both why? candidates with the, well, let me tell you why, <laughs> with the resolve of both candidates, with the understanding that she has, with the fact that she was in the Situation Room when people were very nervous about going after bin Laden, and she was the voice there. Anyone who's seen her work at the State Department, where when she came in, we were at the low point as far as the world opinion of America, and that we went way up and turned the whole thing around because of Hillary Clinton. But I have to say this. When we get to see the two of them side by side, we will see an extreme candidate in Donald Trump. This country is not stronger when we attack each other on the religion of somebody, on the color of somebody's skin, on their heritage. We are stronger when we're together, and that means we're stronger in our fight against terrorism. And I think this will all come out. You know, Keith Oberman just did this incredible uh, discussion on YouTube, 176 reasons to vote against Donald Trump. It's all extreme rhetoric. It's waking up the far-right groups, the white supremacist groups, the hate groups. That is not going to work in the world. And so I think that this first debate and the other debates are who, going Senator, to be very that it will. important. Well, she's ahead but he's by tapping five into points. Something that in your, people know in about her own, experience. In your own poll. Well, Senator, people know about the, the it, yeah. Secretary Clinton's experience, yet she's still trailing when it comes to perceptions of who will be tougher. So I just wonder how she possibly can close that gap. People already know what she's by done being, and her history, and yet her, there's still questions yeah. about how she would treat well, it. Well, that's what elections are for, my dear girl. I have run so many times, and people had misperceptions of me. This is why you have debates with your opponent. This is why you have your plans out there. I of course, she's leading in your own poll by five points. The, late, the last one I saw, she's at 50 percent against Donald Trump. So even though people have questions, and of course they would, this woman has been barraged. She's been uh, just, you know, attacked from every corner day after day after day. And she's still standing. And people like the way you come up after you've been knocked down. And they'll see that in her, there's an assurance there, there's a calmness there, there's a logic there, there's a deep 
knowledge there versus a showman. And I have faith in the American people. That's what the election's about. They have perceptions. Now they need to know the facts. Senator Boxer, thank you very much for being with us, and I appreciate you reacting to some of that breaking news. We hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.